Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl OJ Abade. I am a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look. So my face is already moisturized. I am going to prime using the Beyond Beauty Cosmetics Primer. It's a velvety-like primer. I'm just going to prime around my mouth areas. So basically this is what... This is the pinch of the primer. I'm going to apply it on my face and around that areas where I want to color correct ordinarily. I have my scars around my mouth, close to my eyes and my forehead but the most obvious part is around my mouth area so anytime I'm wearing makeup I concentrate my color correction around my mouth to give me that um, flawless look at the end of the day. I have at the early stage of my makeup, I've had people, after doing my makeup, I have people telling me, oh, there's something around your mouth, what's that dark thing? And I have to tell them it's my scars. Because the scars are quite darker from my natural skin tone. So, I concentrate heavily, it's the most important part of my makeup. I have to make sure that everything is well blended and well put together. So this is the stage if you want to know or if you have facial scars or acne like me this is the video for you just keep on watching for color correcting i don't use concealers because most concealers are not full coverage like full 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 coverage like they claim to be but if you have access to a very full coverage concealer you can go ahead with it what i do is i use a foundation that has a, a little bit of red undertone to it this is the hega and esther photo perfect foundation it's dual cover in the shade bronze uh, it's their tester that's why it's looking so small but it has a red undertone they sent it to me one time they were sending out um testers and some of their products to people so i also use zikel foundation in the shade mocha for this color correcting process but today we are trying the hega and esther so i just put a little on my hand and then use this brush this is a flat brush i don't know if the camera can pick it but it's just a really flat brush and this is what i use to achieve that blend the application i have to pick my mirror so what i do is take a little bit and just go over those dark places around my mouth area just concentrating it there no movements Sometimes I go around my nose because I have dark marks there <laughs> because I do pop up people. This is just basically how I color correct. So whilst we are concentrating on the scar area which is majorly around my mouth i'm still going to use it to cover every other of my blemishes and dark spots that may or may not have been caused by self-infliction while trying to pop out pimple and every other thing let me take my hair away from my face i heard you can just quick cut it into this is me using the excess on the brush to cover every other spot. Let me just go over my lid as well because that part of my eyes looks darker. So I have applied the foundation around my mouth i also applied it underneath my eyes and some other of my dark spots as well i didn't blend out at all 
so what i do ordinarily is to layer it i took my time to apply this actually to make sure i can't see any of the scars anymore i can't see those darkness around the scars and then i'll go ahead with this blending brush to just blend out the harsh lines of where i apply the concealer just like this just around it not the exact place i placed it but the ends i don't know if that makes sense the essence of this is to take out every form of demarcation so when i'm applying my other products it's all blended and well put together instead of there to be a separation i just realized i didn't even cover my scars around my eyes so let me go there this this is a scar and this is a dark spot and this is a dark spot this is a scar i got from hitting my head on the wall in december Action. because i went in heavily on the color corrector it look as though i've already applied by foundation so i really don't need to do much when i'm applying my concealer my contour and every other thing that follows and also letting it to sit on my skin for some minutes before i apply every other thing that way when i'm applying the rest part of my makeup it doesn't move that much just the same technique you use when you are trying to brighten underneath your eyes applying the concealer and leave it in leaving it in for a while before blending out that's the same technique i use for my color corrector process so i'm done blending out the edges what i'm just going to do now is to apply my highlighter just the usual way i do my makeup so i've applied my concealer i'm just going to blend out my concealer so because this area is covered i'm just going to be careful i'm very light-handed is how just how i go with my concealer just around where I, I have placed it making sure i don't move the color corrector or the concealer away from where i had placed it i'm just going being light-handed with it just the usual way i'll blend out my concealer but making sure i'm extra careful while blending those areas that i have color corrector sitting on it yeah, if that makes sense. The beauty sponge I'm using, by the way, is from Beauty Line by Didi. It's a Nigerian cosmetic brand. Yeah. This way, you can see that my color corrector is still showing, it's still there, it's still in place and my concealer, my highlighted areas are popping as well. If I am going for an event, I go for a full coverage foundation because again, we're trying to keep all those scars at bay so they don't come out, they don't peek through. So for a full coverage foundation, I recommend Huda Beauty Foundation. It's not a Nigerian brand, but it does it for me. So I take that, I just take a little bit on my hand and then apply it around the areas. If you've been following my makeup tutorials, you see that I apply foundation last. This is my face after contouring and highlighting and concealing rather. I'm just going to go in very light handed to make sure the foundation is covering all those areas that no product has touched so far and also using it to merge in between the contour and where the concealer meets and then the excess on the brush without adding more product i'm going to go around my mouth area as well specifically around the areas i color corrected earlier on just to reduce that redness that comes with the color corrector foundation and then also the excess to merge to blend out with both 
contour and concealer mates and that's it for my foundation i used just a little bit see the amount i took and it's still remaining i'm going to go ahead to set my face and when i want to set around my mouth area i'll come back on camera so I had to go off camera to complete the rest part of my makeup, just the usual way I'll do my makeup, you can do that as well. But if I want to go out and I know I want to go for a party, I will stay longer there. What I do is to take a brush or you can use a certain um, your beauty sponge as well. This is the Younger Beauty Definer brush, I'm just going to take it and pat on setting powder around my smile line that's because my scars are directly on my smile lines actually so for that um color correcting that we did underneath earlier on to last and for it not to crack up and pick through later i have to press in extra powders around my mouth areas underneath my chin and just those major areas that i um initially color corrected and when i'm done with that i'll go in to set the rest of my face with powder for powder i'm using as usual the beyond beauty powder palette it's a six in one powder palette and this younger beauty powder brush i'm going to take the shade medium medium and chocolate mix both and just set the rest part of my face press in the powder and blow out any harsh line whatsoever that's still remaining on the face because this is my face uh, without powder yet so this is the only powder i'm going to apply that's compact powder the only thing that was on my face was setting powder and just like that we are done yeah we are done if you're a setting spray girl you can set your face with a setting spray to be honest, I don't set my face most times.